Hi, my name is Alan from Hawkdive and welcome back to another video here at the Hawkdive YouTube channel. And today we're going to be diving into the world of how you can remove the backgrounds on your photos. So you maybe have taken a, an object with a okay-ish background, but you want to remove it. And or what if you took it, you have a good photo of yours, but you want to edit it into something really cool, such as the one in my YouTube channel. Here, let me give you a sample of use case. So if I actually go here on my YouTube channel, give me a moment, youtube.com slash, cut me some slacks. Okay, here we go. We are good. Okay, there's music. As you can see, this is my YouTube channel right here. And you can see me, there's a cutout. There's a cutout. There is a graphic design in the background. That is my logo. And then I have my, my own little uh, black and white filter. And there's some advancing in the background. But the main thing here is I got myself a cutout. I cut myself out, I added did the background, I slapped back myself into the photo. So how can you do those? What if you do want to do those? Uh, here, let me tell you something. We're going to be checking out three things today. And one of them is an application you can probably see right now. It is on the screen. And then the two are websites, websites, tools, websites that are, that has tools in them that can remove the background in photos. So I came in ready for today. Unlike the other last photo editing session that we have, I ha I don't have a proper photo sample. Now I have one. I was on the beach last week and I got the simple photo. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be cutting out my whole self right here. So how do we do that? Well, let me first go over to my browser and you can probably see it right here, right now. The main application that we're going to be focusing on in this video which can do in-depth things, but is paid as the Adobe Photoshop. Sorry, nothing can be Adobe Photoshop to me right now, especially with the AI coming up. Of course, Affinity is there, Affinity Designer. Let me just show you what that is. It is basically Photoshop, but cheaper and is not, you know, paid monthly. It's on the subscription base. It's a one-time purchase. And, you know, of course, I'm not sponsored by any of these. I just always choose to use Photoshop. But again, Affinity can do kind of the same thing uh, with a very big bundle right now, as you can see, but you know, you can do educations and whatnot, but also on Adobe, there are sales, but uh, we're gonna be do, we're gonna be doing something similar like this one. He took the ice cream from the photo, slapped a different background to it, edited it, whatever. But we're gonna first take a look at our first two free website tools for free. So the first one would be Zyro.com. Zyro.com, you just get, go over to Zyro.com slash tools slash image dash background dash remover. So basically, you know, we have our sample photo right here. We're just going to drag it into the site. Let me accept the cookies. Let me drag it here. Three, two, one. It's going to take a little longer. So as you can see, it is analyzing the photo. It's going to try to cut out everything uh, that you need to cut out in the photo. And it did a pretty okay job. If this was a simpler subject, it is probably going to be able to do better things or better cutout. But this is a good starting point. As you can see, it did leave the branch, but it got all, a perfect cutout of me. So let me actually download this to my desktop. And we're just going to take a look at it. This is the image. So you can zoom in. It's not as high quality as the main photo was. If I go to properties, I think. Oh, it is still the main photo's quality, but the uh, cutting out is not really anti-alias. That means it is jagged. But overall, it did cut me off really good. Except that it did leave the tree's branch. So it was kind of fine. It was kind of good. But if you had a better, easier subject to be cut it off, the background and you know it's going to take it all easier and faster but let's move on to this next one this one's called removal.ai so this one i think is a little better it is also for free again you can just drag in the image whenever and anywhere on the website so let's just do that again removal.ai slash upload and as you can see it's going to load up i'm going to wait for it and then boom it also did this, but hear me out, hear me out. It also did the branch, but it did try to cut off 
uh, a little bit of the branch. But overall, it is more anti alias. But what we can do here is we can go to erase and restore. So let me just do a preview image right here. And let me do the 600 by 800. Sadly, we can only download the lower quality, kind of the standard quality. That's, you know, that's what we are only able to do. But this might take a little while. So let me just wait for it. This is taking a little while. I don't know if it's the internet or it's the website is a little down right now. But in this website, you are able to click erase and restore. Basically, you can manually edit out. Let me actually try refreshing the page here. Maybe it's just my internet or the web page. Let me drag you. And then let me do. Oh, let's wait for it. Again. And then let me do editor tool. Oh, it did one. It did it better in this one. Let me go into preview image. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So this is an additional part. Uh, you know, you can edit out. You can do add a header. You can change the image whatsoever. But this is not what we're, what we're trying to do. That is the editor tool. What we want to go to is the erase and restore. There you go. As you can see, we have uh, brush sizes here. What we can do is we can erase everything that is covered by the red parts are those that, you know, that are in the photo, that is going to stay in the photo. So I'm going to do a rough job here. There you go. That did it way better than, than they did it manually, I think, I hope. That is good enough for my hair. But you can also restore. What if I want the whole tree, actually? So as you can see, it does it in real time. And, you know, it's just like painting a brush. You can also do Control Z. Uh, but I think I'm satisfied with this one. And what we can do is uh, press download and it's going to download it. And as you can see, there's a massive size difference between the Zyro one and the removal.ai. Because on removal.ai, even though the quality is better overall in the cuts, the overall image quality is not as good. As you can see, it did it on 600 by 800 over our original sample photo which is 30, 24 by 40, 32. So let's move on to the main goal here, the main thing, to the main stuff. I'm going to open up my Photoshop and I'm going to drag in the sample image. So let's open up Photoshop with the sample image.jpg. So let's just wait for it. Again, Photoshop is paid, but it does so much than what you can never ask for. So as you can see right here, we have the photo. Laggy, there you go. We have the photo. This is my photo. The first thing that we can do to remove the background, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna first uh copy this one. First we want the main photo. There's a lot of things that we can do in Photoshop. There are a lot of different ways that we can, of course, remove the background, but the easiest way, uh, like those websites automated, we can just click the object selection tool right here on usually the fourth on the toolbar. Highlight our uh, myself here because I'm the object. As you can see, it already detected some parts of it. It did split the photos to multiple parts the land, the water, uh, the sky, the tree, and then me. So I want me. Because why not? I want me. I'm going to press on that. It's going to automatically highlight just me without the branch because it, uh, it studied it well. And I can also just highlight the hat. Let me highlight the hat. Again, object selection tool. This one is a little messed up, but again, I want my overall just character. I'm going to select it, and there are some few things here. There are multiple different things that you can do. Multiple different ways to remove the background. For this one, you know, for a quick one, you can just control C, control V that. No edits whatsoever. This is what I came up with. Not a good hair, but overall, a good looking. Um, cut out. Now if I just slap uh, a color in the background right here, that looks good. There's a little bit of bad part in here, but overall the image is cut it out nicely. But we want to do more. We don't want to just cut it out. We want it to be nice. What we can do as well is we can just select here, select W, and then click uh, select again. Yeah, whatever. You can select magic one, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just click select subject.
it's going to auto select the subject as you can see it did leave the branch this time but what i can do is click on select and mask this is going to pop up into a new window and as you can see um the branch is very much highlighted i'm going to change the view mode into black and white just so you know it took the branches let's do an overlay so we can quickly easy see which are you know is highlighted to be deleted so i want to do a smart radius and we can literally now start brushing this off so what i want to do is go into minus and of course i'm going to highlight like this this is called smart radius so it is still by technicality using some type of ai as you can see i just highlighted all of these and boom my hair looks really clean in this one let me just recheck some stuff. I got my armpit hair selected. So I'm going to do plus because I want that to be selected. Now what I'm going to do next is click on refine hair. going to automatically refine the hair. So you can see more strands. You can see better strands as well on my armpit hair. And then I can, you know, change it. There's a global refinements. You have the smoothness. You have the feathering which I would add a, just a tiny bit. As you can see, if I do a lot, you can see the difference. But I just want minimal uh, feathering and then I want to add the contrast. I want it to be sharp still. So I'm going to press OK. Now what we can do is we can click the mask tool right here. So this basically creates us a cutout that is, you know, not destroyed in a way. Like if I just go and go into my brush tool, select the mask on the top right of the layer, and then brush something that is on white, it will reappear. Now what we can do, there's a lot of things we can do. We can go back to the background, re-add it back, and then we can change the background. We can make it more portrait-ish. We can do extreme depth of field. I don't know, people like it. <laughs> we can do a green screen. I don't know why we're going to do that, but we can do that. Other things that we can do, we can literally um, edit the cutout according to the background. Or uh, we can go into filter, we can go into camera raw filter, we can fix me in color. Let me just remove that. Uh, let me remove this. Let me convert this into a smart object. And then let me go into the camera raw folder. Boom, and I can edit this one. As you can see, the reds, I can change the coloring. I can go into the hue actually. And let's say, I don't like the orange. I want it to be more yellow, but that's gonna do more of my character. So it's a little weird. This is gonna be a little different. It doesn't work as how you might think it works. But as you can see, uh, there's a lot of different stuff. There are masking. Let's just do auto. It lowered down the highlight. So I wanna bring that up again. Oh, I like the blacks to be, you know, upwards again. Like my exposure up. That looks great. Boom. I can slap it back in the background. There's a big highlight between these and this. So there is there's just some things, but again, 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 <laughs> there's a lot of things that you can do with Photoshop. It's not it's not just a tool to remove background. But Photoshop is a tool that allows you to create a lot of different things and a lot of different effects as you can even edit your photos here by whole but you know i want i won't like to do that but here we are i am doing a little bit of photo editing usually i would use photo luminar or adobe lightroom but this looks a very sun vibe uh, but that's just a quick simple tip on how you can remove your backgrounds in your photos the two ais are actually great especially for quick ones i, I actually want to do one more sample let me take a screenshot of myself here. Control S. Give me a moment. So I got another quick sample right here. If I go to Brave, uh, my browser right here. If I just wanna do another one, I wanna upload a new image. I took literally a screenshot of myself right at this point in time. And just drag it. Let me see how well it's gonna go. Again, of course, Photoshop can do it more intricately. This one didn't even remove the back. Oh wait. This one removed the background. That is great. That is, I'm not gonna lie, that is really good. Like the guitar part, I get it. 
but this whole me that is sick because i got an advanced i got a mesh chair i got this all details right here i got the bed frame with my hair and the the bed right here has a lot of details in the curtain and it did extremely well how about this one i'm kind of interested with what removal ai will pop up with and if it is any better of course this one you can edit okay it is way better you can see the hair this one's flat this one's more but again on removal ai to download the highest quality you would have to you know pay for their service but they both did extremely well but of course in photoshop i can manually edit everything i can just drag you up let's see how well the, uh photoshop's gonna do with the uh let's see object select so let's do select object did pretty well but look look at that it didn't even see the uh the microphone so let me just do this one and then i'm gonna add this i'm gonna do smart select boom boom uh that let me do refine here now i would also like to smooth it out it's a tad bit and add a tad bit of uh, feathering with a big contrast and the hair didn't do it as well so let's just say like that and then boom way better not as fast i did put extra efforts to just get the microphone right but again photoshop can do so much more than both of those websites can do and not a sellout for photoshop i repeat i am not i may sound like it but it's just because i use photoshop more i, I don't even know what i'm doing anymore here i'm memeing my face come on guys J just do what i'm gonna type okay are you ready what i type are you ready to see are you ready to see come on guys just do it just do it just do it guys what's the point of not doing it if you're watching this video right anyway i think this is where i'm gonna end my video you should definitely do what uh, my hand said here you should subscribe to hawk dive anyway i <laughs> thank you guys for watching and hopefully you did learn a thing or two again my name is alan avila and you can check out my own socials at alan avila underscore every platform um and I would see you guys in my next video here at the Hawk Dive. Make sure to read the article uh, that I write on Hawk Dive. And of course, the other articles in there. But um, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.